Yo, what's going on guys, Y5 here, welcome to a new player review on FIFA 20, now today we are looking at the 92 rated team of the season Max Cruz. Now if I'm being honest, he has got a sick looking card with amazing stats for a striker, center attacking mid or even a super sub on FIFA 20, with 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot as well as high attacking work rate, my goodness you cannot ask for more. Now we all know that he is playing on the Turkish league which is hard to link with other good players but the good thing about him that he is German which is a good nationality to link with other players. Now with his 93 shooting, 93 dribbling, 92 pace, 92 passing and 85 physical, I think in game he can do damage. Now for his price, right now he will cost you around 200k but I think his price will go down after the foot champions rewards, he will cost you around 100k. Now let's take a look at his in game stats, he has got 93 acceleration with 90 sprint speed, 94 finishing, 90 shot power with 88 long shots. For his passing and dribbling stats, he has got 94 vision, 94 short pass with 90 long pass, 82 agility, 80 96 balance, 95 reactions with 96 ball control as well as 97 composure, 78 jumping, 88 stamina, 88 strength and 75 aggression. Really good pace, shooting, passing and dribbling stats for a super sub on FIFA 20. Now work rate of high medium which is the best work rate you can ever get for a center attack in mid on FIFA 20. 4 star skill mode with 4 star weak foot which is a lovely thing to have on any player. However guys this is the squad that I'll be using to review the 92 rated team of the season Tony Cruz. No damn I mean uh, Max Cruz. Now before jumping into the gameplay if you're not around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated. Now into the gameplay we go, 92 rated team of the season Max Cruz, is he one of the most overboard center attacking mids on FIFA 20, we will see on this gameplay. Now first of all we all know that Max Cruz has got amazing stats on FIFA 20 and I already can tell you that he is absolutely amazing in game, 93 shooting with a great shot power and finishing in game, with 92 pace which is a lovely thing to have on any player, 4 star skill moves as well as 4 star weak foot and high attacking work create so the question is should you buy him for 200k however guys now before jumping into the good and best of things let's talk about the best game style to use with him now for me with all the games i have played with him i used engine game style which increased his pace passing and dribbling the reason of choosing the engine game style because he only got 82 agility and it increases his agility to 87 using the engine game style he will be a 97 rated center attack in mid with 98 dribbling 96 pace and 97 in passing. Anyway guys now moving on into the good and positive things, starting off with the best thing with him which is going to be his shooting, absolutely amazing shooting for a central attacking mid and trust me I really mean it, everything with his shooting is fantastic in game from finishing, shot power or even long shots, he has got 90 shot power with a great shot power in game, believe me with his shooting he won't let you down, however guys now moving on into another great thing with him which is going to be his passing, now his name is Max Cruz but with with his amazing passing in game you can call him Tony Cruz, really good passing in game and if you wanna ask me what is the best thing with his passing I have to say his vision, I know he has got 94 vision but he really surprised me about how good his vision is in game, now what about his dribbling does he has bad dribbling in game, now for me I would say his dribbling is between good and amazing so I would say he has got great dribbling in game if you know what I mean, now he only got 82 agility and that's why I used engine cam style which increase his agility to 87. Now the best thing with his dribbling I have to mention it which is going to be his ball control. He has got 96 ball control and I'm not gonna lie to you really good ball control in game. Now the last good things with him I'm going to start off with his pace. He has got 92 pace which is a lovely thing to have on any player. Another great thing with him I won't forget which is going to be his 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot which is a great thing to have especially on a center attacking mid. Anyway guys I'm moving on into the bad things that 92 rated team of the season Max Cruz has. Now after playing 5 games with this card I actually did not find any bad thing and trust me I'm being 100% honest. Now he only got 78 jumping but as you all know jumping is not the most important thing on FIFA 20, 88 stamina, 88 strength and high attacking work rate, great card in general. 
In the end, I think he is a great striker slash super sub slash center attacking mid to use on FIFA 20. If you got him untradeable, trust me, that's a big dub. Now for me, I'm going to give him 10 out of 10 for his base passing and shooting, 9 out of 10 for his dribbling, and like I said, if he had better agility, I would 100% give him 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for his physical, and trust me, there is no problem at all with his physical in-game, just because of his 75 aggression and 78 jumping. Now overall, to be honest, I really liked him in game and I think I will keep him in my squad and use him as a super sub and for me I think he deserves 150k. Now overall for a 92 rated card which will cost you around 150k and for me that's cheap for a player like him I will give him 9.5 out of 10. Just if he had better agility and aggression I would 100% give him 10 out of 10. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and tell me in the comment below which player should I review next. I will see you all in the next video, peace.